Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day. My name's Neil, I'm the CEO here at PBN Limited, and today I'm just going to give you a quick introduction into the main functions of our dashboard. Okay, so whatever screen you're on, you can get to the screen by clicking on the dashboard button in the main menu. Uh, here you will have a list of all the sites that you have added to your dashboard. And to add a new site, you can simply select the new site button here. And you can enter a name for the, for the, for the site. You enter the domain name, the WordPress title, subtitle. You can select a template or you can just leave it set to random. Here you can edit the login URL. So, for example, instead of it being wb-login, .php or WP admin, you can actually set straight away very good practice for security and um, the login URL. Here you can select the CDN and um, whatever you want to make and whatever one you want to choose, sorry, should I say. Cloudflare, we have a ton of Cloudflare accounts behind our dashboard so, um, to ensure excellent variation of name servers, etc. My own network actually runs on 80 to 85% Cloudflare. Not a problem for me, hasn't been in 15 years. Um, but obviously it's down to personal preference. So we have a good choice of CDNs in here for you. If you want the site to use HTTPS uh, with an SSL certificate, you just click this button. If you want to put www dot subdomain in front of your domain name you click this button and uh, by default it will it will install without www dot unless this button is uh, checked okay the feedback email is the email you want any of the forms on the website to redirect to okay so you can enter what you want in there you can then click create and um, once you've done that you'll see it appear here you can, um, it will start with a status of building and then it will give you in the message column the name servers which you need to change the domain to. Okay, and once that's done, it will look like this. I'll just make one quick comment here about the name. If, for example, you are using our hosting platform for more than one network or node or however you want to refer to it, you can, of course, but in here, for example, the name, anything you like, but you know, you could include network one, network two, adult, and um, gambling, whatever you want to put in here. So they're easily identifiable. When you have a lot of domains in here, obviously, all of these are sortable. Okay. This will take you through opening a new link to the actual website. This will actually log you into your WordPress admin. And so a nice, easy, single sign on. And no need to worry about, you know, usernames, passwords, crawling through spreadsheets, whatever. And um, one quick, one quick click and you're in. Up here is the amount of sites you currently have. And this is whatever the tariff or package um, and maximum you're allowed on your current package. Here are the SEO metrics, which are actually called from Majestic. Okay, they're included free of charge with every domain you add. Here is trust row rating, and here is the LinkedIn root domains. Okay, uh, nice, easy visual. Uh, I'll show you a, a, a better version of the SEO metrics in just a second, but this is a great quick overview. Okay, okay, so for each site, you have obviously a more extensive set of options. Now, to get to those options, you actually click the name. Yeah, okay, whatever that name may be. You'll see here now you have another link that takes you to the website and another one click sign in option for the admin. Okay, so as you have a template, it's on or what you chose, the CDN, it's on, it's status. It is your WP username and password should you want it. Okay, in this tab, and um, there's nothing here yet at the moment. I've just added this domain for the purpose of making this video. So here is a this will produce charts of the SEO metrics for this domain. So you can instantly see trust flow, 
root domains, up, down, whatever the situation may be, you can see it here, which of course allows you to detect uh, any problem of domains that may be dying off or need that little bit of attention, okay? Okay, here in the backups tab, you have the date of the backup, okay, the type of backup it is. This one is manual because I ran it to um, put this data here to show you and um, the state of the backup, okay? And um, we automatically back up every site of yours free of charge once a day. And this here stores the last 30 days of backups, okay? So you've always got 30 days of backups available to you at any time. Now you can also use this button, you can download the backup, okay? Uh, keep a local copy of it. This is a one click restore. You click this button, and the website will go back to whatever it state it was on that day. And this is a simple delete button, okay? Now here in the little cog icon, you have a further set of options. Here you can generate new WordPress credentials, i.e. a new username, a new password. This gives you access to each site's uh, version of PHP MyAdmin, which we have done completely footprint, footprint free. Here is a file manager, which uh, opens a file manager for every single website you have. So you have a full full file manager there to upload, to edit files, to get full root access, okay? Here is the purge to CDN catch for whatever CDN you're on. Here you can edit the site. Now I'll just show you this. You click this button, you can alter its name, you can edit the domain. If you want to change this domain for a new domain, you just put it in here, okay? and it will automatically keep the website but run it under the new domain. Here you can also edit the login URL for your WordPress uh, admin, okay? Now we have here create a backup again and um, you click this button to ask you if you want to create it and you create a backup and that will appear here in a very short space of time, okay? If you have downloaded a backup and you have a local copy, you can click the upload backup button, select the archive, and it will extract, okay? So like I said, we have 30 days, but if you wanted to download one a month um, to your local machine, so that you have an infinitive amount of options available to you, you can do it here. And this is exactly what it says on the tin, delete site, okay? Now at any time to get back to the main dashboard, just hit the dashboard button in the main menu, okay? Here, this will take you to the helps and guides section, which I won't go through in this um, video. You can, um, obviously that's where you'll see well, videos like this one, okay? This is the account options for billing, for the tariffs, this is where you can go through to our biller, um, fast spring, you can update your credentials there, you can change your card, and you can cancel your subscription, whatever you want to do. This is the tariff selection, where you can upgrade, downgrade, uh, or cancel subscription uh, if needed. Here is the edit profile, exactly what it says, change password, log out. This little button here will take you through to the support desk where you can submit tickets and request free SEO advice and from my SEO scientist, whatever it is you need, everything is in here. And as you can see, the dashboard was created to be extremely quick extremely user friendly, very easy to get to navigate around. And um, the real magic, what happens here, is what happens in the background. And um, you know, we're constantly monitoring your sites, monitoring that any potential footprints, doing everything automated behind the scenes to keep your network 100% safe, indexed, and problem free. Uh, every server which we, our actual servers are, 100% optimized for WordPress. That's uh, security optimized, speed optimized, uh, everything for WordPress. So you get a really solid, reliable PDN, so SEO hosting platform here with a simple dashboard that deploys any new domain with a fresh install of WordPress in seconds. Okay. And here we are. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, listen to me. If you have any questions or you need any more advice, as I said, hit the support button and I'm here to help.